All right, let's have a brief introduction to custom NPCs, non-player characters. These are characters you can kind of program to interact with you and send you off on quests and adventures. So press E to go into your inventory. If the custom NPC mod is installed correctly, you'll see here on page two, this little tool type thing. The one that I use pretty much and the one that you have to basically use to set it up is the NPC one. So drag it, bring it down here. And then just put it into your hand and then right click to place your custom NPC. When you do this, this will pop up. I usually only do two things here. Change the name if I want. I think I want a king. So I'm going to change here the texture as well. So I'm going to change this to a king. Yeah, perfect. Back. Alright, now that I've got the name and the texture sorted, I am going to go into the global menu. So in here is where we set up our dialogue structure, basically. So go into Dialogues. If you have something in here already which might be there from the system, just click on it and hit Remove so you're kind of starting from, from scratch. So let's click Add. So this will be the category where I want to put a dialogue in. So I want my character to greet me. Greetings. All right, so that will be called Greetings. I'll then go into the dialogues and I'll click add new and this will be just the I'll just call this hello. So the dialogue text of this one will be greetings what can I do for you. All right, close that. I'll go back to my categories and I'm going to add a quest category go into the dialogues under the quest category, click add, change that to just type in quest, click edit into the dialogue text. And I'm kind of thinking ahead here knowing that, okay, my character is going to ask him, you know, I'm bored, have you got anything for me to do? So I'm going to kind of predict that he's going to say, why yes, I have lost my crown, lost my crown somewhere in the village. Please help me find it. Alright, so that's my quest part. So right now I'm going to go into the area where it will kind of, um, I can put in the responses that me, the player, will actually respond to. So in the greetings part, in the dialogue of this, we've already put in the dialogue that the computer person is going to say, greetings, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? So in the dialogue options, this is where you put the reply that you might say the player. So this might be, I'm bored. Have you any quests? All right. So this will then go to the quest dialogue. Quest. All right. So when I choose that one as the answer, it's going to go to the quest dialogue. Let me go to another dialogue option and let me get get away out of this conversation just wanted to say hello bye and I can choose this to be the close so when I say that it will close the dialogue so this is in the global area and I just want to basically make sure now that in my advanced area so this is still in my King Ludwig thing I want to make sure that in the dialogues area of advanced the first thing that he's going to say is his greetings. Hello. Okay, so that'll be the first thing he says if I right click on him with an empty hand basically. So let me just close that. Get this out of my hand and right click on him. So he's saying greetings, what can I do for you? So I've got two options that I've put in here. I'm bored, have you any quests? Just wanted to say hello, bye. So if I click I'm bored, have you any quests? He can say, "Why, well, yes, I've lost my crown somewhere in the village. Please help me find it." Okay. If I just X out of that, right-click him in again. Uh, if I say, "Just wanted to say hello, bye," it will close the dialogue thing. 
All right, so let me put my wand back in my hand and continue the part where I actually basically can accept the quest. So let me go back into global again and go into dialogue. So basically, I need to add here, um, in, go into my quest, go into dialogue, quest, dialogue options. So this is the part where I say yes or no to the quest, basically. So if I click edit, yes, I can help you find it. All right, let me just do that for now, and I'm going to come back and change that option type. Let me add another one. No, I've changed my mind. I'm just going to close that one. So I'm going to go back to categories. I'm going to add a new one, and it's going to call it Quest Accept. All right. I'm going to go into that, and then go into the dialogues of that one, and click and add one. Quest, yes. All right. So let me go back to categories again. So I just want this one to be ready. Let me go back to the quest. Dialog, quest, dialog options, edit. So this is the one where I go, yes, I can help you find it. So I want the next part to go to quest accept, select, quest yes, select. All right, quite confusing, but you get used to it after a couple of times. So let me go back to categories. I'm going to go to the quest accept dialog, quest yes. So then I can choose to select quest and I'm going to set that up right now. So by going back into global, I can create a quest. First, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to X out of this and because a quest involves um, objects of some kind, I need to put them into my inventory first because I'm going to have to put them into a slot. So I can just go somewhere and find something nice. So um, I think there's a crown in here, yeah. So that'll be the thing I have to find. And then for a reward, he can give me, I don't know, a guitar. All right, so let's make, let me get out of there. Let me go back at my NPC wand here. All right, go back to global. So I'm gonna set up the quest now. All right, I already have one there called necklace. I'll remove that. Add new crown quests. Add crown. Completed text. You have found the crown. Close quest log dialog. I must find the crown. Close reward will be a guitar back. The item that I'm going to get for him is the crown back. Complete by NPC, yes. I have to go back and give the crown to King Ludwig. Okay, that is fine. Now, I'm gonna go back to global, go back to my dialogues, and in the quest accept area, in my dialog, I will select the quest. Crown, select, crown. All right, let's see if that is working for us. All right, so I'm going up to King Ludwig, right click, what can I do for you? I'm bored, have you any quests? Well, yes, I've lost my crown somewhere in the village, please help me find it. Yes, I can help you find it. All right, so you can see then he here, new quest, crown, all right? So let me exit out of that. Let me just pretend I find a crown. So basically, once, like, I could put a crown somewhere, hidden somewhere in the map, but because I'm in a creative mode, I can just find the crown and put it into my inventory. Once I put it in my inventory, it's going to say, quest successful. Quest complete crown. So now if I go back to King Ludwig, and I right-click and I give it to him, crown, you found the crown, complete. And I've got a guitar in my hand now. So that's kind of how you set it up. It's kind of complicated. You kind of go back and forth and it's probably best to have it on paper, a structure first for the dialogue and things like that. 
so um, I hope this video kind of gets you on the way and I hope you can think of different ways to use it in your classroom.